And today we are in the ultimate hot hatch. The king of hot hatches. So I say we get straight into it, go exploring some of the coolest roads that I've seen in a long time and just have a lot of fun in a very noisy, lightweight French hot hatch. tell you I love hot hatches. Hot hatches were my first love as a petrol head and I still love them now just as much as I did when I was 18 years old. So Renault Switzerland has supplied me with this quite frankly mad hot hatch for the next couple of weeks. The Renault Megane RS Trophy R stripped out racing machine, manual gearbox of course. There's no other gearbox you should have in a hot hatch. So the road I'm going on to now, I was suggested by a local to come check it out and it is just spectacular. I don't know if I'll be able to film the whole thing today but there is so much to explore here and I just wanted what I had to show you all, had to of course come drive it for myself and show all of you the road and the views up here. It's just incredible and I'm just so pumped to drive some cool roads again. As you've probably heard as well, this Akapovic exhaust on the Trophy R sounds pretty damn cool. Lots of pops and bangs. Look at this road. <laughs> 7 a.m. in the morning, got up nice and early. Early bird gets the worm up in the mountains. Let's try a cheeky tunnel run. <laughs> like this I just the definition of having a laugh in a car it still is quite a lot of money these are selling for holy moly these are selling for just over 50,000 Swiss francs here in Switzerland of course so this one unfortunately doesn't have the best optional extras, which are the carbon fiber wheels and the ceramic brakes, which you could say maybe is a little bit of an overkill. If you take these options, I think the carbon fiber wheels cost you around 13, 14 thousand extra. <laughs> got no rear seats as you can see the rear seats alone you lose 40 kilograms with don't need them I'll tell you what actually let's try a quick launch control I'm very interested to know how this works just plant down launch control oh! <laughs> a lot of wheel spin then all of 300 horsepower being shoved through <laughs> the 
front wheels. No, this is the problem with having large amounts of power in a front wheel drive car. This is what happens. It struggles to put down the power and just spins. But it makes you laugh. It gives you a big smile. And that's what it's about. Hot hatches should be ridiculous. And this is exactly that. So this obviously comes from the original Renault began R26R, which when I was growing up was just the king. I wanted that car so badly and part of me still kind of wants it today. And this is just a much more modern version of that. Look at this road. Look at these corners. I mean, it's still completely usable in the real world. You could drive this daily. It's not as hardcore as my GT4, for example. But as far as feedback and feeling goes, it is just so, so good. It's lower than the previous model. It's got new suspension. It's lighter. It sounds better. It's got less in one sense, but gives you much more. It's set up much more aggressive. You really feel that improvement compared to the last model. They've taken away the four wheel steering, which is a good thing because now you have that real feeling and connection to the road. And with the added camber on the wheels, oh, it's set up so good. I cannot tell you. You're definitely not missing any four wheel steering in this at all. 1.8 litre four cylinder engine. So yeah, you're never going to get a crazy, beautiful sound from the engine. Really enjoying these pops and bangs. Sounds a little bit like a rally car. There is a lot of cheap plasticky bits around here and there, but you let it off. It's okay for the money. It does kind of make sense. They really concentrated on the important parts, the handling of the car, the suspension, the exhaust, and the seats. These bucket racing seats are some of the best I've ever seen. And that goes throughout even supercars. Not only do they look incredible, but I would say they're one of the most comfortable bucket seats I've ever sat in. You are a bit limited on movement. You can't put them up and down, only back and forth. They've put a smaller screen here to save even more weight. And yeah, the infotainment system is quite frankly terrible. It's so outdated and so slow. Unlike this car, which is definitely <laughs> not slow. So as long as you're not looking for too many luxuries, then you're gonna have an absolute blast in this, as I am now. And otherwise, if I was to buy one of these, I would take the red stickers off because I think I'm just a little bit too old to be having red racing stickers on the side of my car. But apart from that, <laughs> it's so unbelievably cool. To be honest, I kind of want one. With the carbon wheels though, I think the carbon wheels visually make this car look crazy cool. I love not having rear seats. You've basically got the ultimate four door shopping car because you've got four doors and no back seats. You've got all this space back here. It's fantastic. Another launch control. See if I can control the power a bit, make it spin a bit less. <laughs> it pulls. It really does. This 300 horsepower might not sound much to you. It is, you know, it's a decent amount, but because this car is so lightweight, it flies. Rebel soul child got a fist ball. I'm a respawn of ancestors and I'm blessed on. Huh? They gonna knock him, tell him fess up. I get checked up, hella carefree, nothing scares me, hella reckless, yeah. I got next up, right? No, we not the same, cause see when I look in your iris You likely to talk but not ready to ride You do better keeping it quiet My pen is ignited, my soul is enlightened I like who I am, but I'm biased They palette is right on my drip is a fountain I'm not like these regular guys All of that talk is misguided But you like the way I make the tape print But the way I make the words play is grim I'm the reaper reaching for the kill switch The label cut the check 
like the blazeman. Something striking where his brain is. The beat is somewhere where they prayers sing. Geronimo mode the way I make the bass jump when the parachute is tasteless. They likely to run their mouth for when they see me. <laughs> Yeah. It's only really my surroundings. They keep it all the way a thousand.